In the eternal war between armor and shells, visibility on the battlefield is the main victim. Since the Middle Ages, heavy knight armor only had thin slots for the eyes. They were made wider so that warriors wouldn't have to turn their heads too much. When cavalry was replaced by the first tanks, the same slots made their way to tank armor. But a tank crew locked in a huge rattling vehicle could not rely on their hearing at all, so they had these small hatches when they needed to assess the situation properly. This was an easy target for a skilled shooter. In World War I, battles were mostly positional and developed relatively slowly. World War II showed the success of rapid strikes, but tank crews were still limited to four to six slots for assessing the overall situation. With the development of the technology of unmanned vehicles, battles in modern wars can be won or lost in a matter of minutes. And even though state-of-the-art armored vehicles have cameras that support different modes, tank crews still have access to several screens which they have to look away from in order to precisely assess the situation using other devices. If only there was a solution that would allow soldiers inside these large targets and tracks to have a full view of all that surrounded them at once as if through the armor. We're currently working on a product called Land Platform Modernization Kit. As the name implies, this is a modernization system for military and industrial vehicles that incorporates augmented reality and artificial intelligence systems. Company founder Mikhail Grichuhin aims at making heavy armor appear transparent for its crew and in real time. This device was developed so that the driver of a military vehicle could turn his head and see everything as if he was looking out from the hatch. This not only allows for improved visibility, it is just like in a computer game. We use an interface that we have developed together with NATO. We're the only Ukrainian private company that is an integral part of the NATO working group on the standardization of ground platforms with augmented reality. And it is precisely these scientific developments that we specifically apply to improve our system. What kind of experience from the war in the east of Ukraine hinted Ukrainian engineers of an idea how is this system different from developments of leading armies? And what do crews of modern armored vehicles themselves think about see-through armor after trials? The gunner can practically see everything. He can observe the battlefield both on the left and on the right. UATV presents a technology of the future that was created in Ukraine. Everyone knows about this concept from Hollywood movies about combat pilots, for example. Such a system has been used since the 1970s, which I think has projected certain information on the helmet visor. This is a very convenient technology for pilots because this means that they don't need to keep constant track of multiple displays. Mihailo himself has never had any anything to do with armored vehicles. In 2014, he volunteered to defend Ukraine from Russian aggression and served in a recon unit of the armed forces of Ukraine near the village of Opetne, which is not far from the Donetsk airport, which had become the arena for the most intense battles for many months. Our side and the enemy often mined roads by simply throwing anti-tank mines on the concrete runway. They are almost virtually impossible to spot at a high speed. You can't drive slowly because you're being shot at, though at the same time you cannot see the mines along the road when you are driving at a high speed. I often drove off the Donetsk roundabout where our tank blew up at one of the exits. Mihailo himself drove an ordinary civilian pickup truck back then. He was shocked by the thought that the driver of an armored passenger car was in fact safer on the mine road than a T-64 tank driver. He has a laminated glass vision block which he can see through, several screens that form a panorama. Or he can unbutton or even pop out of the hatch, though that's quite dangerous. That is precisely what gave me the idea to sit down, think and come up with a solution to this problem. After demobilization in 2016, Mihailo worked for an IT company that aimed at creating AR computer games. It was exactly at that time that the world technological giants released their first commercial solutions of limited access for IT developers. For example, a small wireless helmet that allows displaying virtual objects over a regular image and even manipulating them. But while everyone was thinking about games, Mihailo could not get out of his mind the destroyed tank, the crew of which could have survived 
Це була якась дуже скучна конференція. That was an extremely boring conference. I was wandering along the corridors, and then I finally came up with an idea. Why not try making something like a Ukrainian project? I printed out a sheet describing what we wanted to develop and simply passed it to everyone at a meeting with representatives of the defense industry. I showed it to them, and everyone said, it's an interesting idea, let's go for it. Mihailo won a Polish startup tender with his transparent armor concept that gave him the opportunity to take part in an acceleration program where representatives of the same global company that develops augmented reality helmets noticed the idea and offered him a grant to finance his project. The startup allowed for preparing the first prototype for presentation at the Ukrainian Arms and Security Exhibition in the autumn of 2016, and soon transparent armor became known all around the world. They were not pioneers in augmented reality for vehicles. They simply proposed an unusual combination of parameters. We used exclusively civilian technologies. We brought them to the military world, not the other way around, how it usually happens. We did not develop the technology specifically for the closed world of military technology. Our market is about modernization, not the creation of vehicles, so we do not develop systems for any particular country. We can work both with cheaper outdated systems to modernize them as well as with completely new systems. Mikhail Richuchin reveals especially for you TV, how the main elements of the transparent armor system work. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian military is testing this technology at a special training ground in the Lviv Oblast to understand how it is made. Perhaps in 10 years, the augmented reality helmet will turn every home into a playground or a meeting room, and a wireless connection will allow a person to take the virtual world along into any room. The requirements for armored vehicles bring this technology from the skies down to earth, all the way from radio waves to wires. We made a cable connection that would conform all the military standards. All the data is transmitted by cable. So far, this is also our know-how. Military standards prohibit wireless connection, which is why we decided to come up with a solution to make it wire. The cameras can be either pre-installed on the vehicles, which we can use, or ours that can be easily adapted to the performance of specific tasks according to military protocol. Either several cameras can be installed on a vehicle that provides for a 360-degree view or one rotating camera that tracks where its operator is looking. Ukrainian engineers spent dozens of hours in a tank hangar testing this innovative wonder of high technology to achieve its practical implementation. We tested the system on a T-64 tank and spent several months trying to find the best camera locations and how to stitch the panorama. Because even though the tank might look symmetrical, each camera ended up at a different level. There were several places that we couldn't put cameras according to the blueprints, which meant that we spent a long time deciding how to install the server. This is the computing heart of the transparent armor system. Each camera provides its own flat image, which can be superimposed on the neighboring ones, so the operator can see an even stitchless panoramic view in the helmet with an acceptable signal delay. This Ukrainian company has developed special software for these purposes and today claims that the augmented reality video video stream lags behind what happens outside by just 0.10 to 0.15 seconds. At the same time, this amazing device doesn't require an extremely powerful computer. For example, if a vehicle is new, air-conditioned, and has a place to install the server, we can install a really powerful system that will be able to process a mass of data arrays according to military-grade standards. But if the vehicle is older, has no air conditioning and has power limitations, there can be an integrated solution that performs specific tasks necessary for the operator of this vehicle. We can also use a pre-installed server in the vehicle, provided that it is equipped with such a device. According to Mihailo's experience, if there there are no bureaucratic delays. A transparent armor system can be installed in a matter of two months. It's an extremely short time for the modernization of armored vehicles. In October 2019, one of the Ukrainian defense enterprises presented a new Ottoman III armored personal carrier at the Arms and Security Exhibition, which was developed by taking advantage of the augmented reality tools in neural network algorithms. Our artificial intelligence recognizes important objects, in other words, vehicles and people. This means that you don't just see what is happening around you, you see what and who exactly is around you. For example, if there is a vehicle on the perimeter or a person, the system recognizes this and displays graphic alerts. 
Now we have created a neural network that recognizes 15 classes of vehicles. It includes military and civilian vehicles of various types and soldiers and civilians separately. In addition, the system displays information about the state of the engine and the amount of fuel on top of the image for the driver, while the gunner, who has the same helmet and sees the same thing, can use sights for various types of weapons. The commander can even connect to the camera of a drone hovering above the battlefield. All that comes with a complete sense of immersion, just like in a computer game. In December 2019, the developers decided to arrange a test drive at the Yavoriv military training ground in the Lviv Oblast. The transparent armor system was installed on the BTR-4E, the observation windows were completely closed, and the crew was assigned the task of going through an obstacle course just by using the system. Everything you see on the monitor is displayed on these special helmet visors. That includes navigation information and the location, and it also precisely displays the speed of direct movement. And the azimuthal indicators of placement of the platform itself in relation to other objects. The gunner can see practically all that is in front and around him. He can observe the battlefield both on the left and on the right sides, and the necessary information is displayed so that he can orient himself in space. The driver, gunner and commander of the tank make up one information field. They can see and easily recognize all objects, and the overall image around them is very precise and immaculate. The obstacle course has been successfully completed. Driver Serhii Jolbunov believes that such a system would greatly help the Ukrainian military fighting on the front. This helmet has a panoramic view all the way around the vehicle. I can see what's in front no matter where and how I drive. I can also see what's going on in our flanks and behind us wearing this helmet. That is, it gives the full effect of presence in reality. It is very immersive. Of course, I would love to install it in our own vehicle. There is nothing else to say about this amazing device. Mikhail Richuhin decided against removing the system from this APC. Let it continue being useful. We do not plan to sell anything to Ukraine, but thanks to shipments abroad and to other customers, we have the opportunity. We do not plan to sell anything to Ukraine, but thanks to shipments abroad and to other customers, we have the opportunity to give a certain number of kits for free. This is also useful for us because it means testing, identifying requirements, and communicating with people whom we have easy access to. Now the employees of the Ukrainian company assisted by the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine shared the experience with NATO and helped design the interface for such systems. We have been creating the NATO standard for augmented reality systems for ground platforms for almost two years now. We plan to finish in 2020, and the document outlining this project that we will prepare will be sent to Brussels for final approval. In the future, Mikhail Richuhin sees tanks as mobile command centers, where relevant information from the battlefield will be gathered and quickly processed. Also, thanks to the already installed transparent armor system, the other option is that armored vehicles could be made into drones. Be that as it may, Ukraine is now at the forefront of this progress in military technology, along with leading countries and armies of the world.